Hi, so in this video, we're going to now create a multi-server approach. So let's go back to the diagram we have here. So in this diagram, this is showing you uh, what, what we are setting up. And today we're going to be, currently we're only running on one server and the load balancer doesn't work. So today we're going to be doing this piece, okay? Uh, minus the auto scaling. So we're just going to set up the servers manually. So in the previous videos, this works, this works, this works, this works, but we still only have one server and our goal is to get all the other servers to, to work in addition. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is actually create, go to the instances and create that template. So uh, this is the instance running so far, just one instance running Moodle. And uh, we'll go to see what we're going to do for today. Okay, so we're going to first create a new template, create a new instance, create a load balancer on top of that, uh, then create a target group. Okay, so first let's create a template. Right click the instance I want. What we will do is image and templates, and then we will click create image. Okay, so this actually just creates a, a, a snapshot. And I'll call this uh, demo Moodle AWS. And uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll click create image. And then I'll pause the video because this takes a bit of time. So it says successfully created. But when we go to AMIs, uh, it's still going to be here. So this is the image we just created, by the way. Um, let's rename it demo. Demo Moodle AWS. So here you can see the image. Uh, that's the image, but it's again, it, it's still being created, so it's still status pending. So we'll come back when, when, when it's working. <clears throat> so we're back, and now we can see that the snapshot or the AMI has been created. So now that we have a snapshot, what we're going to do is just Click it and then click launch instance from this image. Okay. Okay, no. So uh, we just, normally we just click next, next, uh, micro again to keep it cheap. One instance, uh, etc. Okay, so we're happy with all the defaults. Yep. Next, add storage, and we're just going to use the, the cheapest one, 8 gig. Add tags, configure security groups. So I actually do have an existing security group uh, here, which basically is allow all. So I'll use that security group, not the stuff from the launch wizards. Okay, review and launch. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll click launch. And I'll use uh, a key pair that I already have. And I'll click launch. And now all we'll do is uh, we'll now wait for, for the instance to load. So now we'll go back to click view instances. And uh, we should see if it, if it turns up or not. So we're, we're going to call it demo Moodle AWS2. Uh, demo, demo Moodle, demo Moodle AWS2. OK. Okay, and then we're just gonna type demo Moodle AWS. I think both of them, I hope, show up. Uh, and then when that instance is launched, we will unpause the, the video. Okay, so now we could see both uh, instances working. So this is the first one we were connecting to, and now this is the second one. So, now we're going to use this IP and, and just check that things are running. So normally I'll, I'll try to SSH into that uh, machine with, with the same key that I have. Okay, and then we'll do that. Accept. Okay, and, and we'll just see everything is mounted and, and stuff. So we're going to go to uh, slash var slash Moodle data mount. And uh, good. So we could see that it's still mounting correctly on, on the new instance. And uh, I'll, I'll go and to Apache and, and type it, and I should see something come out. So the Apache server is working. And then I'll try to type slash Moodle and, and just see if I could get that uh, page running. So it seems like that, that's working fine. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're, we're going to turn this into a target group and then get that load balancing in. So now we could see that here I've set up uh, th this, this AWS Moodle.satwill.edu.ph is currently mapped to this IP 3.214.197.158. So later, what I'm going to do is I will match this uh, DNS zone to, to the load balancer. Okay, so first, when we do load balancing, that we have to create a target group. So here I'll create a target group, okay? Create target group. And I'll do instances, and I'll just call this um, demo AWS Moodle instances, okay? And then everything, we could leave them as default because we're only using HTTP, not HTTPS. And then we're just gonna add the two instances that we want, which are these two. Include a spending below. And now we have a target group. So this target group will be used by the load balancer. Okay, so now we have a target group called demo dash AWS dash Moodle instances. Okay, next is we'll create a load balancer. Click load balancer. And then we're gonna click create load balancer. We're gonna choose an application load balancer. So here we'll click create. And then we'll just call this AWS demo Moodle. Okay, internet facing IPv4. Uh, we can just map it so it, it joins all the uh, availability zones as well, just to make sure that uh, we can access any of the the, the um, servers and any of the availability zones, security groups. Yep, I think we'll just choose uh, this one. This is the one that has kind of all the uh, allowed instances versions. So I'll use uh, this firewall group, which is very uh, relaxed, so to speak. So. I'll choose my very relaxed firewall group. And uh, that's pretty much it. We have one listener. And here we're gonna click forward to my target group. So that's the target group we created. Forward to demo-aws-moodle instances. Okay, we'll click add listener just to make it sure it's there. Oops, we have this one and then we'll click the one for HTTP. So we'll just leave that blank and we want to end like this. So here. This is the summary, IPv4. It's on the a very lax security group. It's gonna take all the, uh, it's gonna be part of all of the uh, networks on, on US East, and then it's gonna listen on port 80 and forward it to my demo AWS Moodle instances. I'm gonna click create load balancer. Uh, and uh, that should be done. So now when I click view, um, we're, we're going to get an IP address when this is done and I'll resume this video when the IP address is there. So we can go in and set that in, in, in Route 53. Okay, so now we could see here that the load balancer is now active and we can actually go test that out. So here we'll get the DNS name, we'll click copy and then we could just open a new tab and just check that it's it's working fine, so we could ask, so that's Apache loading, okay, on on one of the servers somewhere, and then we could uh, do slash Moodle, and uh, see that the Moodle works fine. So so the last thing we're gonna do is I guess attach this load balancer to the domain or 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 to the DNS name, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to route fifty three. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video because I don't want to show all, all the routes and and, and uh, I'll show you the configuration in a bit. So going back, this is the change in the record. So whatever I got from the load balancer, the DNS name, I'd set it up, uh, change the record type from A, I'd make it C name, and then you put the value as the, um, the DNS, uh, name given to you by the, the the load balancer. So here you can see it in value that that's the pasted link that I got. And remember that uh, when when we were actually doing the uh, first server, initial server, it had an IP of three dot something. But now when we ping uh, the, the site, we actually see that it's getting now the a different IP address 52.70. 
And it's also going to, instead of the 3.IP, it's actually going to the load balancer now. All right, so now let's just test it out if it works. We'll go to, we'll type this, AWS Moodle.Southville.edu.ph, and uh, we should see if it works or not. So that, that works, and Moodle. And I guess what's the point of this really uh, on the load balancer is now when we actually go to instances and I just say, okay, let's turn off the first server, right? Stop instance. So now the instance has stopped. We can probably no longer uh, connect to it on SSH. So here, let's try clicking it on SSH. And uh, it's not allowing us to connect anymore. So we know that's down, right? So here, it's, it's just kind of stuck. But when we actually go to the site, since at least one of the servers is up, uh, the load balancer can, can still make sure that we can enter and, and do stuff. So that's pretty cool that now uh, you could launch multiple sites. So even if one site is down, uh, it'll still work because you have a load balancer running. So just to review where we are before I, I stop the video, <clears throat> let's just go back here. So now um, pretty much this all works. So everything here works. So we, we set up that all the Moodle data is on the S3 file system. Uh, we go to the Elastic Cache first, a Redis, a Redis cache uh, for the database. And then if it's not in the cache, it goes to the database. And now we have three servers or two servers. So we just have two servers. And we have a load balancer on top that connects. So the last part is we're going to do auto scaling, which means uh, we can create the AWS will auto create servers based on uh, how much demand there is. All right, see you in the next video.